But I mean, this stuff right now, look at it. Right, this is this beautiful, soft, black soil. I mean, it's as good a soil as you can want. Right, it's perpetually mulched, and uh, the worms are always working away in there. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com, and I'm just picking some potatoes here. And uh, I'm working a section of my garden here, maybe two feet wide by four feet, or two feet deep by four feet wide, two by four. And I got this, I pulled this out of there. So this is like a full-size turkey roasting pan, uh, overflowing with potatoes, right? A good, uh, I don't know what that might be, 20, 30, 20, 30 pounds of potatoes. And they're all, you know, they vary in size from, from this big to this big, all very fair. Beautiful roasting potato. These are the russet Burbank variety, excellent for uh, roasting, uh, mashed potatoes, french fries, good for lots of things. And, uh, in my experience, fairly resistant to potato scab. <laughs> Raven going right overhead. Uh, so uh, anyway, so that's a pretty good yield from such a small little area. And uh, so people are always asking, what's the secret, what's the secret? And does every one of my beds produce this sort of yield every year? No, the beds with the best soil, the best light and the best moisture. But uh, really they come, I mean, you, you, not much you can do about the light. Location, location, location. If you don't have sun, I can't help you. But there's a bed just uh, maybe 15 feet that way, gets the same amount of light, it got the same amount of rain. I don't water my beds all summer long. I mean, I just put the potatoes in the ground, put the mulch over top and just leave them. And then I pick them this time of year. Um, this might have been the last batch I, I planted actually. So uh, what's the difference between, so the bed that I got over, over there, I probably would have got maybe, maybe twice this much out of the entire bed. Or not even twice as much, maybe 50% more than this out of the entire bed, despite the fact that the bed's about the same size as this one, a four by eight bed. Well, what's the difference? They both got the same amount of sunlight and they both got the same amount of rain. The fundament, and they're the same variety. They're both this russet Burbank. What's the difference is the soil, quality of the soil. So the soil in this bed, uh, when I first built it, and I have videos of this, you go back, uh, it's like something like how to make a cheap garden for nothing or something, something, something like that. I would have done this in the fall a couple years ago. Um, all I did was put this, put these logs down and I filled this whole thing with horse manure and put a bunch of hay on top. And that's how I built this bed. And uh, you wouldn't want to plant, you wouldn't necessarily want to plant potatoes in it the first year. You run the risk of scab and some things like that using uh, relatively unbroken down horse manure. But I mean, this stuff right now, look at it, right? This is this beautiful, soft, black, Soil. I mean, it's as good a soil as you can want, right? It's perpetually mulched and uh, the worms are always working away in there and I just got this great stuff. So why does that make a big difference? Well, I mean, for one, you, you've just got the nutrient content, right? You've got the right balance of nutrients. Um, but the other main difference is that this kind of soil holds moisture better than the soil in the other bed. I'll show you in a second the other bed because the soil in the other bed is a bed I made this year. Whereas the soil in this bed has, has been developed over time, right? This is probably year three for this, year, year two, year three, year three, really, this is year three for this. So it's been developed and it's being developed by the things that live in it. I'm just adding mulch on top. But because they've, it's got more worm castings in it and that sort of stuff. Because of that, it just holds moisture so much better. That's the only difference I can think of. Same potatoes, same light, same everything else, just better soil. Let me show you the bed where I didn't get as many potatoes. Just over here, about 15 feet. So over here, I got, I got a yield and I, I got a respectable yield and I, you know, I planted potatoes and I got more potatoes than I planted. <laughs> Great success, right? I got the results, but not nearly as, as it's just the soil is not as rich and I didn't get as much back per square foot. Now, let me show you the soil here. It's just a different kind of soil. I mean, I've mulched it really well. I just did a video 
on, I, I, there's a video I did where I pulled all the potatoes out and then I mulched it. I just did it about a week or so ago. So you can see what I got out of this garden. And you can tell just by the little bit I got out of that bed that I'm going to get a lot more. The soil here isn't bad, but uh, it's, it's just not as dark. I'm losing my light here as the sun sets, but it's just not as dark. It's more light in color, just not as deep. And I would, uh, you know, just wouldn't have the same amount of uh, worm castings and that sort of stuff. It's just not as developed. It will be over time, but it's just not there yet. There's a potato right there. Uh, what I noticed, oops, when I was, <laughs> what I noticed was when I was picking the potatoes out of the soil, that it was really, really dry, completely dry. And this is further downhill. This is a slight grade here. This is further downhill, so you think the water would <laughs> go down here, right? Whereas the soil over there in that other bed is um, just much more moist and damp, right? But it's because of the quality of the soil. Not because I bought any soil, just because I've been mulching it and feeding it and allowing the organisms in the soil to do their thing and just gradually improve it over time. So, uh, I don't know if that made a lot of sense. I hope it did. Uh, if you want to, I mean, this doesn't, it, I'm just using potatoes as a good example because I plant a lot of them so I can see the difference using the same variety in two locations with slightly different conditions. Um, it's by no means a, a properly set up scientific study because basically I just got <laughs> two observations but, but anyway at least anecdotally there's some evidence to suggest <laughs> right that um, if you want to uh, you know a lot of people will say to me there's no way you didn't water your garden all summer long uh, or you must get an insane amount of rain and, and where I live does get a lot of rain but uh, this was a very dry summer and very few people that live where I live went the summer without <laughs> I don't know anyone with a garden really that the summer without water in the garden unless they were using a heavy mulch system like me uh, anyway i'm getting off on tangents here point is if you want to have good potatoes or good anything else develop your soil it's fall now if you're putting down your beds get a mulch on them you know there's still another month or so where the worms can do their work uh, and keep those beds covered and your soil will improve and everything just gets easier from there hope you found it interesting if you did please like share subscribe don't forget to click the little bell so you don't want to get a new video and until next time Get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. Yeah.